Today's first question has to do with a term that we've heard a lot lately, emergency use authorization. Alicia emailed us, what's the difference between emergency use authorization and actual approval for use? From what I understand, the FDA hasn't yet formally approved either of the two vaccines. Well, we took this question to our medical expert, Dr. Arnold Baskies, who told me the FDA has the ability, based on the science, to authorize, to approve. When the data is impressive and the risk is low, they can allow a drug or vaccine to be used. It is an approval of sorts. Final authorization for anything such as this takes a longer amount of time. And if you wait that long amount of time, you'll have more deaths and more disease. So it makes no sense. So the FDA has kind of a, um, an in-between, if you will, or, or the first stage of approval, which is emergency use authorization. Our next question comes from Ching. Will the vaccine affect fertility for the future of either sex? Here's Dr. Baskey's answer. There's no reason to believe that it will affect fertility. Um, there's no reason to, to suspect that it, that, it, that it has the potential to do that. Now, if you have a question about the COVID-19 vaccine, just send us an email to vaccine at NBCPhiladelphia.com. You can also get in touch through our NBC Philadelphia Facebook page.